Hello my friends, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography and today I'm going to show you how I do a winter retouch. So I always do my retouches no matter which image it is with the Innocence Retouch. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on Anna. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just um, use my spot healing tool to take out anything that I just see that's catching my eye that I just don't want there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out and I went ahead and ch chose this image because she does have some blotchy skin and I'm going to show you just a really easy way to blend all of that together. So we're going to go ahead and go down to frequency separation in the flawless skin blend. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And when this layer comes up, you're going to get two layers, a flawless clone and flawless blend. I always start in flawless blend. I'm going to grab my lasso tool and the very first thing I want to do is try to blend out these this blotchiness so I am just going to take a selection a rather large selection on this one and make my selection I'm going to hit I like to do it in quick mass so I'm just going to hit Q so I like to see where I've selected in red then I'm just going to go up to filter blur and Gaussian blur and it's already set to where it's going to work for this image, but if it was um, on an image that was a little bit more distant, further away, you're going to want to change your pixels just to where it starts to feather out a little bit. And that's looking pretty good there. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Q again, and then Filter and Gaussian Blur. So you see, what if I just tap anywhere in here, it's going to take away my quick selection. So you can see what that did just by doing that one side. So it's blending all of those tones together and it's leaving texture on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and do it again to the other side. So I'm just going to make my selection where there's blotchiness and where I want to just blend all of those tones. And I'm going to hit Q. And this time I don't have to um, go and set my pixels again. I can just simply cl click on Gaussian Blur, Q, Filter, Gaussian Blur again. And I can do this throughout the entire image once I've set it the first time. So it's Q, Filter, Gaussian Blur, Q, Filter, Gaussian Blur. Okay, so that's, that. I'm happy with um, the way that that blended out her, her little blotchiness there. Now I'm going to go up to Flawless Clone. I'm just going to grab my clone tool. And I like to keep my flow on right around anywhere between like 20 and 25. It's on 23, so you'll, you'll see how this works in a second. So I am just going to go ahead, and I like to get my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just holding down the option. I want to make a, a selection where I want to use that tone to maybe just blend this out just a little bit in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start going over that. And I know that that's a freckle, but because it's leaving a dark shadow, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some there. And I just keep making selections around where I want to fix. And you'll see this acts like an eraser. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix some of these little bit of hairs that are coming onto her face here. And again, I'm just keep selecting so that your tones match. And we can even take away like these little speckles on her lips. This is good for like any detailed work. And take these little hairs off. Of course, I could use my spot healing tool here too, but I'm just I just want to show you how um, powerful that this portion of the flawless skin is. So here I'm just gonna take another portion of her bottom lip there. And you know, I'm not gonna make this so perfect, but you get the gist of it. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I am gonna go ahead and I'll just flatten this, and then we are gonna go right into our um, retouch and for winter skin I like my winter skin to be a little bit cooler a little bit brighter um, and a little bit more magenta or redder as well just to give it that like if you were out there in the cold you would have a little bit of most of us anyway would have a little bit of red pigment to our skin just from being cold so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose smoother soften detail and porcelain skin This one takes it just a little bit longer to run than 
the smoother no detail. I'm going to go ahead and take my opacity down um, just in the 40 range. And I'm just going to go ahead and start painting this around. And I do like to go up into the hairline, but this kind of gives it just a little bit of a glow as well. So you can see there, if I click on and off, it's brightening up our skin and softening it up just a little bit, but not overly smooth because I don't like to use the smoother too strong after I use frequency separation because that's leaving the texture on. I just took the opacity down a little bit, but the frequency separation is leaving the texture on and that's what I like so it doesn't look so overly smooth. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and skip down. And I'm going to choose Skin Tone Fresh. And I'm going to bring my opacity up to 100. And I'm just going to paint this on over her face. And sometimes I even use this on the clothing. Um, like I could go ahead and enhance these highlights on here just a little bit. And that just gives us a nice, clean, fresh skin tone. Next thing I'm going to do is go down to Skin Tone Peachy add a little bit of color so I'm going to go ahead and take my opacity down to about 45 on this and I'm just going to go ahead and paint this I know I'm painting it over the eyes but I'll mask that off in a second I just like to go ahead and just paint it all over the skin and then it's just easier just to get your brush smaller and bring it back up to 100% and mask off the eyeballs so that, that those aren't turning peachy I've been going to the Skin Tone Bashful a lot lately um, for the cheek color. And I like to put this on big and soft. So I'm just going to tap that on. And I'll also tap it on over here. Now I know I go outside of the line there, but I'm just going to go ahead now and reduce my brush size. Get it on a black brush. And I'm just going to go over the line where I know I went over that a little bit too much. I think just putting it on... A little bit bigger and softer um, leaves her a more natural skin tone and then I'll just reduce my opacity if I feel like it's a little bit too much so that looks good on her and plus she's older so she can get away with just a little bit more cheek color on her I've also been using a little bit of um, skin tone peonies I'm not going to use that right now but we might come back to that a little bit later um, but peonies is a little bit more of a pink tone and if they're super, super pale and you paint that on, it's it gives them more of that, um, just like that blushy pink tone. And I would use that on the whole face. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go do, and if you have any color cast or anything, these are great. So you can see right here, there's a little bit of like orange um, reflection, which isn't really bothering me because it's a shadow. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you that if you use the soft orange reducer, um, you could go ahead and just... Take that away and I would just reduce the opacity so that it didn't look you know it was starting to look a little bit blue at, a, at the percentage that it came up as so you just want to um, reduce your opacity to make it look a little bit more natural okay the next thing we're going to do is go into base eye found base eye foundation excuse me and I'm just going to go ahead and paint right inside of her eyeballs at hundred percent You can see if I click on and off. Now, to me, her eye whites are looking way too white. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my opacity down a little bit, and that looks a lot more natural. Then we're going to go into Iris Soft Sharpen. And I'm just going to go ahead and get my brush big enough to go over her entire eyeball, lashes and all. And I know sometimes I'm going to go ahead and click on and off. I'll blow this up a little bit more so you can see it's subtle, but it makes a big difference. Okay, and then we're going to go into Lashes Darken and Thicken. And again, I'm going to go ahead and paint this on at 100%, and then I like to reduce my opacity. I'm just going to paint this on her lashes. And just make her eyes pop even more, especially since they're blue. And then I like to back up and just click on and off. And now I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity just to my liking. Okay. 
The next thing we're going to go into the mouth makeover brushes and I'm going to choose Lips Red Rosy. And again, I'm going to go ahead and put this on at 100%. And I like to get my brush smaller to get into the creases there to make it look nice and even. And then I'll go ahead and step it back and just take my opacity down a bit. So that's looking good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into um, the Dodge and Burn. And it tells you exactly what to do. I'm just kind of going through it fast to um, not waste any time. So I need to change my brush to darken because I'm going to start with my shadows, burning the shadows first. And I'm going to go ahead and take my opacity down to about 24, anywhere from like 15 to 25 is a good number. I like to go subtle and I usually sometimes I'll even take this down. But I am just going to go ahead and just increase the shadows that are already there. So I'm not trying to create shadow. I'm just trying to increase these shadows just a little bit. And I can also use this on her brows. And I can also use it to outline her eye rim. And I know that it's hard to see now, but when I click that on and off, I'm just going to put a little bit in here. And I'd like to put a little bit under the lip as well. It just kind of gives it a little bit more pouty look. And you can see there what a big difference. See how her, it just is making her jawline stick out. And it's subtle, but it definitely makes a big difference. So that's just um, burning the shadows. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Dodge the Highlights. And I'm going to go ahead and change my brush to Lighten. Make sure I'm on a white brush. I'm going to keep my opacity at the same. And I'm just going to go over, again, I'm very light with dodging and burning, so I'm just going to go over her brow line here. And sometimes I'll put just a little bit right in the corner of her eyes to get that a little bit of brightness. And then just down her cupid's bow just a little bit. And you can also put a little bit more on her lip to give that a little bit of shine. Okay, so let's click on and off of that again to show you. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a levels layer. And this is sort of a final touch that I do on most of my images. So I am just gonna bring up my midtones, bring up my highlights just a little bit and then bring down my blacks to give it a little bit of contrast. You can see how subtle that is, but it's making her skin have that little bit more of a glowy look. I'm gonna hit Command I, I'm gonna go ahead and invert that because I'm only wanting this to hit, um, a, be applied on my subject's skin. I'm gonna take my brush up to 100% and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that on. I can even paint a little bit on her hair if I wanted to. Um, anywhere you feel like it just needs a little bit of pop, but that makes a big difference. And lastly, if I feel like she needs a little bit more, um, red or if she's too magenta, I usually just grab a color balance layer and I'll go to my highlights or my midtones. It just depends on the exposure of the image. I'm going to go ahead and put on highlights for right now. I'm going to take my reds up a tad, bring my yellows in just a little bit and maybe bring my magenta up just a tad. And that's giving it a little bit of a warmer skin tone without going crazy. Again, I like to keep my skin tones a little bit cooler on here. I'm gonna hit Command I, and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this on my subject. Okay, and that is it. So let's go ahead and take a snapshot. So that is our before and that is our after. Before and after. Big difference, right? 
Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know. And please visit greaterthangatsby.com to purchase this if you haven't already. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.